her son is going to leave Tennessee. We're seeing doctors leave Tennessee because of the abortion ban. So at what point do businesses, the music industry, artists start scratching Tennessee off your list? I don't think we're far off from that. Is it going to take seeing mothers in cuffs, women in cuffs, doctors in cuffs? We are a theocracy drifting further and further from a democracy. You know, we try to sound the alarm about this all day, every day, but where is everybody? This is about using the power of the state to declare that trans people don't exist. Do you agree that it is those who support this fiction and this fantasy who are causing the harm? For my child, this is very, very real. GOP is the government overreach party. That's what should concern you because these guys won't stop. Every session is just them figuring out what they can get away with next. I've been doing this for four years. Every session has been worse and they will not stop until they are stopped. <laughs> That's an awesome moment. There's a child on stage there. That's going to be a felony soon. How long are we going to let this go on? Why are people going to come perform here? Is it going to take Miley Cyrus and cuffs? And so what I would say to everybody is you have two choices. You're either pushing back against this or you're normalizing it. There's no third option. When you ignore it, you're normalizing it. When you use their language, you're normalizing it. If you actively oppose it, that's your other choice. There's no other option. The businesses out there that are just sort of watching this happen and looking at their bottom line, you're normalizing it. You're participating. There's no third option. This is an assault on freedoms. And if you don't feel personally impacted somehow, you're just wrong. They are testing the fences of what they can get away with. And so far, it's everything. We are the tip of the spear. Make no mistake. There's a reason the Daily Wire is here. We are where they figure out what they can do. And then it gets exported to the rest of the country. So until you start helping Tennessee fight this stuff, it's coming your way next. Like I'm not out on a limb here. I don't think I'm like making some grand prediction. This is what's happening. I hope people will start to take notice about what is going on in Tennessee because it's scary and it's normalized every single 